Next, we are going to learn for loop. To learn for loop, all I have done, I have taken a button and named it as for loop. Let's double click on this and get straight onto the code. Now to understand for loop, first of all, let's create a variable. So I have created a variable called i, which is more like a counter variable we are going to use for a loop. Looping means what? It will start, for example, I give 1 to 5. So it is going to start the loop from 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4, 5 and the loop will break automatically. So how do you write this looping concept? Let's understand. Now how you have written a if activity, do you remember? You used if then a variable name for example a equals to 5 then print something right so similar way for every command that you are going to learn in visual basic only thing you have to remember you have to start with the keyword and then write the variable name then use a equals to symbol and write your thing so for example here i would like to count or loop from 1 to 5 so i will say 1 to 5 pretty simple and hit enter baby.net is going to add this next automatically for you pretty simple you can see pretty simple i equals to 1 to 5 and next that's all and then let's understand how the looping works let's use a message box and try to print it so here i am trying to print the i value Initially, what is the value? When the loop continues, how the values changes? Let's see that. For this, I'm going to run the code. And I'm going to click on for loop. Now you can see the very first value which has appeared is 1. Why? Because we have given the loop to start from 1 till 5. 1 to 5. So 1 has come, 2 has come, 3 has come, 4 has come and 5 has come. And if you click on OK now, the loop is automatically breaking. So we have got a clear understanding how this looping works. What if, can I type from 5 to 1? Is it possible with the same code? Let's run it. Click on for loop and you can see nothing is happening. Nothing is really happening. I'm trying to click. So what is the change we have to do to the code when I have to go backwards. So there is a command here I'm going to use called step. Step minus one. So I would like to go one step backwards. So when I'm going to run this particular command now, let's see what is the output comes. For loop, the very first value because I have given five to one. So five has appeared. Click on OK. Four has appeared. 3 has appeared, 2 has appeared, 1 has appeared and 1 is the last point. If you click OK, the loop automatically breaks. So these two things we have understood. What if I want to print, for example, 0 to 10? 0 to 10 I want to print. However, I would like to print step by 2, not by 1, step by 2. So what would happen in this case? Tell me. The output, the first printing would happen 0 plus 2 that means 2 will come then 3 will come uh, then uh, 4 will come then 6 will come then 8 will come so all the even numbers including 0 will be printed so let's run this code click on the for loop so what happened the very first value that you have given in the loop to start from 0 that has that has been printed after that it's going to add 2 so 0 plus 2 the output is 2 4, 6, 8, and 10. Now you can see it has printed all the even numbers including 0. The same thing you can also do opposite way. For example, I would like to start from 10 and I would like to go up to 0 for example. And then I would like to go backward minus 2. Simple. Let's run the code. Click on for loop. So the very first value which has come is 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, and 0. So this is how we have printed backwards. Now many times you may not be interested to print it while the loop is running. Rather, you would like to print the output directly. I'm going to show you one technique. 
let's create a variable so i've created a variable output as string and i'm going to delete this entire code and i'm going to write a new code in place of this so what i've written here is output is the variable initially it will have no values so the very first print that will do is 10 because i dot to string is 10 and then environment new line is going to type it below so it will create a enter and then the next print the output already contains 10 so 10 and i dot to string so the next value will be 8 minus 2 so it will print 10 and 8 together with the environment new line so below that is going to type now let's see the output how it appears by using a message box so i have written message box dot show and print the output at the end of the loop let's run it and click on for loop and you can see my entire output has been printed at the end so what happened i got 10 8 6 4 2 0 and i got the entire output at the end rather than clicking on ok multiple times while the loop is running so these are some of the techniques that you have learned for the loop called for loop and the only thing you have to remember whenever you write you should remember the keyword for example when you write if so if a equals to if you write for for i equals to end the step because it has to go through a loop that's why you are writing the two right so 10 to 0 